Greetings. A lot of motivational speakers like to use the famous saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. They love to have examples of how people face a terrible circumstance and they use it to something for their benefit. They give examples such as John Walsh, who lost his son to a murder, and then he started America's Most Wanted. Or they give the example of that woman who started Mothers Against Drunk Driving. It makes me wonder, what qualifies as lemonade? Sometimes more crusaders use a bad circumstance to become a crusader. A crusade can be one thing, but if it's a moral crusade, it's another thing. And a moral crusade is not the best way to handle things. It is an approach I tried once in my life. Initially, I was against alcohol. I saw it in my family. I said, I'm not going to do it myself, but we'll live and let live love we'll libertarian laws. And then some bad things happened to me, and I handled them incorrectly. Then I went on a moral crusade. Basically, I took my anger out on the alcohol industry, like Carrie Nation did. Fred Phelps, according to the book Addicted Hate, became a moral crusader because he lost his ability to inflict hate on people through the practice of law when he was disbarred. Interesting. I had a social work professor who said he prefers anger to apathy because with anger you can at least do something with it, whereas apathy you can't do anything with it. Fred Phelps definitely isn't apathetic. He's definitely full of action. He's very full of action. So much action is there. It's unbelievable. And that's the way I've been myself too. The question is, is every form of action in response to a negative cir circumstance in life good? Probably not. But what qualifies as lemonade and what qualifies as just making the lemons more sour? That can be a subjective judgment. A moral crusader, in their mind, thinks they're doing something. But they are, in essence, doing the wrong thing. They're handling it incorrectly. In fact, they're doing the opposite of turning lemons into lemonade because they're making a bad situation worse. It's festering, it's becoming so intensely worse. I had an aversion to alcohol and the hate stayed constant until I had a bad circumstance in my life. And it actually didn't involve alcohol directly, but that's just how it came and it became increasingly more and more and more. The spiritual law of attraction says if you focus your energy on something, it expands. And that's what my aversion to alcohol became. Fortunately, in later days, I went against that and adopted the right way, a more live and let live approach. And that's what happened to the Gage Park Decency Drive started by Fred Phelps. It started.